Hey everybody, it's Timo here. The damage was done. Yes, for three days we can properly play the game. And I'm not trying to over-exaggerate. That is the fact. That is in fact what is happening right now in Dark and Darker. So pretty much when the patch on the May 22 has come out, pretty much we got a whole bunch of stuff that are made a lot of people are quite excited and happy, including the stiletto change, which would make every single rogue happy, as well as a whole bunch of other nonsense, which is kind of useful, kind of not, you know, it may be helpful, maybe some of this may be actually pretty decent in the long run, but overall, listen, 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 we got the new patch with the apology for the lack of updates over the last week, and we accept your apology, Iron Mace, you know, we love you, being open about your stuff is actually quite important, especially when it comes to making updates, this season was challenging, and we're currently working on improving our processes to blah blah blah, to make it right, for the next season. For this hot fix, we want to round out the current season. Very strong note. With some important quality of life and critical changes that we believe will reward current players and lay the groundwork for the future. The future supposed to be bright. But let's see what's actually gonna happen afterwards. For the remaining duration of the system, we'd still love to offer proper goals to work toward. This hotfix adds the rewards for the leaderboard along with the some account-bound cosmetic rewards for the quests. This leaderboard will be active until May 31st. Afterwards, we will have one quick pre-season period in preparation for the next season, which will commence on June 7. This hotfix also brings few critical features that we want to get tested before the the start of the next season. We have completely overhauled the inventory system to be more robust. Due to the scale of this refactoring, we foresee inventory box, which we want to stomp out in time. The key word here is in time for the next season. We have also implemented in-game chat and dungeon recovery system. Yes, very nice, beautiful. Yes, thank you, Armace. This is really important for us. Every single player out here appreciate you a lot. Due to an issue that occurred during the patching, the patch completion time will be slightly, I mean slightly, I mean like very slightly, I mean maybe extra slight. It might be actually extra huge and big and massive and a little blood. Slightly extended. We will tell you the exact time again. Sorry. Sure. Okay, no problem. The patch will be completed in approximately 30 minutes. Thanks for waiting. Okay, no problem. And that just, by the way, in three hours. <laughs> you know, it's okay, a little hotfix for a hotfix would take uh, three hours. Yeah, it's, it's understandable. Patch process is completed. See you in dungeon. That's, by the way, five hours already, guys. Since there is 8,760 hours per year, five hours isn't that big of a deal. You know what I mean. Okay, we move on. The patch process is complete. See you in the dungeon. Very nice. One hour later, sorry, we begin maintenance to fix serious problems. <laughs> this is <coughs> this th this is actually such a nice emote for this, you know. Because listen, you gotta laugh it out and you gotta enjoy the process. Because we all here we love this game. Like, listen, we fucking we live with this game. We fucking race with this game. It's a beautiful game, and that's why we will support Iron Mace no matter what, right? Maybe the early access hotfix forty seven point one released in fucking eight hours question why why the fuck do we need this hotfix in the first place i don't know because for today's day it was the may 23rd i planned to collab with my homie which uh, i recently got to know the server will return to full service after about 20 30 minutes you know 30 minutes isn't that a lot isn't that big of a deal you know 30 minutes is fine there were a lot of critical issues that took a considerable amount of time to fix. We are sorry to forgive. There is a lot of critical issues that took a considerable amount of time to fix. We are sorry for keeping you waiting for so long. No, my homie, you guys didn't keep us waiting for so long. Don't you worry. It's been like only, you know, eight hours. It's not that big of a deal. You know, it's okay. The patch process has ended. See you in the dungeon. Fire. If I could fucking put this emoji twice, I would do that. Everyone is so happy, I will love you, Iron Mace, it's great, salute. A hotfix patch is being prepared to fix a known serious issue. Sorry for the delay, thank you for your patience. Iron Mace. Okay, Iron Mace, sure. We will be doing the hotfix number 48, the early access hotfix 48 that everybody been waiting for so long, 
finally is here. The update is gonna start at the May 24 and the patch starts you will not be able to log in to the game and players in the game will not be able to enter matchmaking. The server will return in two hours, you know, understandable. They fixed a bunch of issues. They fixed the dexterity, they fixed the demons form, they fixed the ammo, they fixed the dummies, they fixed monsters, they fixed frost skeletons, they fixed god knows what the fuck this shit is. They fixed an issue where there was a slight delay, okay, when clicking in the lobby inventory. This was related to a duping glitch that was previously found out and shared in the um, bunch of chats. The duping glitch though that with this thing was fixing wasn't that big of an issue. You could only do potions I believe but that's about it. Still though dupe is a dupe and needs to be fixed you know what I mean. We're sorry for the serious issue was left unattended for so long. What do you mean for so long? For fucking one day? Okay. I mean, if that was long, sure. But I don't think it was long enough. Sure, in a couple hours, the patch process has completed. See you in the dungeon. It's okay, you know, couple hours, it's fine. That's basically, usually, that's when the time I wake up and start to record videos. And then after like four to six hours of recording, I start to edit for another four to six hours. And then basically, that's how I make my videos. And then I upload them either at the evening, either at the time I make them, or on the very next day. Reset the server to remove all buggy items that were not recovered after the box was fixed. Starting from May 24, 20, it will take about an hour. That's like how many patches already, bro? How many fucking patches there was? Like fucking five? Or fucking hot patches for patches of a patch that should be just a, you know, hot fix for a previously made patch that was supposed to be on a test server, but that was just, you know, something went wrong. It was really on the test server. It was just straight up sent to the official game, you know? Okay, it's fine. Listen, another, another hot take, hot fix are fine. You know, it's, it's okay, guys. Listen, we are going to the better future, to the better game in near future. The server reset completed successfully, see you in dungeon. I'm actually getting quite excited here, you know, just reading from like this alone makes makes my blood pumping, you know what I mean? I'm actually kind of ready to hop in and start s slaying some bitches, you know what I mean? But that, my friend, didn't last for long. We initiate emergency maintains to address newly discovered serious inventory issues. Wow, who would have thought? Who would have thought? The new inventory issues, when in fact I haven't seen even <clears throat> Nobody saw the addition to inventory, but um, I understand that's probably they were changing the code for the upcoming, you know, plans of the game. Sorry, this inventory refactoring was too unfinished to be made public. We apologize for any inconvenience and we will do our best to fix this. <clears throat> okay, now keep in mind, nothing has gone afterwards. Nothing. This is where the announcement stops and so far we haven't got any updates in 24 hours. Basically, this game is the game that I fucking live and breathe in. I play this game, I love this game, That this game is just my true love, you know what I mean? Like, I've been waiting as, as much as, well, as well as many, many other players were waiting for a game like this to come out. So we, I, we'd get to fucking play, enjoy, and um, I move on to the next step and I actually fucking so much obsessed with this game that I started to make content, you know? Because I love this game. And I was like, hey, how about I start making content, you know what I mean? But no, Iron Maze decided to shut it down for a day, for a full fucking day. No, 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 you don't understand. This shit right here is unacceptable. 24 hours, the full day, the people came back home from work. They're ready to fucking play the game. They're all in. They want to, you know, enjoy their dungeon adventures, maybe for a couple hours, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Some, like, majority of people have friends, families, and a bunch of other activities that they need to participate in, and they have only a couple of hours to enjoy the game, and basically when they're finally ready to hop in, they can't. They can't. I played this game 24-7. Well, okay, I don't, I don't play. I play this game, actually, more or less, because, like, consider the amount of time I spent on editing. I play this game maybe six to eight hours, you know, more or less. Maybe usually lot less because I spend more time on editing rather than on actually playing the game because I try to produce some content, you know what I mean? But anyway, this is where the last message stops. This is pretty much it. That's where it's over. And what do we have left with? We have 24 hours and 2787 clown images that is going up and down because People are mad. And not, not only they are mad, I'm also mad. In fact, I'm pissed. And in fact, I think this stuff right here is just straight up unacceptable you know what i mean i love this guy i love grayson i love for all the effort he does i love how open he is about the uh, communicating with um, you know like um, with community i love this guy as well 
working his ass off pretty much every single day. But don't get me wrong, there is a test server for you to test stuff. There is stuff that been tested on a test server that was not supposed to be released to the main server, but it got released anyway. Like for example, my previous video uh, where I was playing on the Warlock. Don't worry, nobody got hurt in the process of making that video. And basically it, it lasted only for one game. So they only let us cheat for one game. You know what I mean? <sighs> At a time, at a time, I didn't know how much of a big thing it's gonna be, but now I realized that something ain't right here. And the main problem here is this should not be even allowed, like, because this is just this right here, all of this, this is, that just kills the game. The population already won, went down to minimal. It's the current player's base is literally, yes, a lot of people would say, a lot of, lot of, lot of, lots and lots of people would say, oh, hey man, it's just because it's the end of the vibe. I understand it's the end of the vibe, but you would need to be absolutely fucking delusional to think that the reason people stop playing this game is because it's the end of the vibe. It's not just the end of the vibe. It's the combination of all the issues that we have combined. What makes the player count drop that, you know, further down. The one issue that developers could fix any fucking time they could spend a couple hours and fucking that's it and like get the little change that i'm gonna talk about in a second and that's to merge freaking lobbies my friend there is three to five lobbies i believe all the time for 300 plus lobbies and for 300 below lobbies for each and every uh, matchmaking for solo duo trio so pretty much to together we would have almost 20 lobbies, you know, 20 lobbies for 300 plus and for 300 minus. So that's going to be like 40 lobbies created every, like, you know, like every fucking three minutes or something. So all the time we have around 40 lobbies. Why wouldn't you, Iron Maze, merge dead empty lobbies with little to no players and make the game feel alive? Because 2000 players, actually 2000 pl players that are playing the game and 2000 people who are preparing for the game, would be more than enough to fill up the lobbies and all you need to do is to merge dead lobbies nobody nobody literally nobody wants to play against npcs all day long we want to have players to fight we want to have interactions we want to have content you could literally make that in a matter of minutes there's going to be a lot of people who like the main reason why there's actually those lobbies to begin with is because of a lot of streamers got real upset that they got stream snipe and this and that that's sure that is acceptable that is understandable but only when this game has a player base that would actually fucking go and stream snipe and do whatever they, they want to do but you need to understand the people who want to stream snipe they will do that they'll find a way one way or another nothing will stop them you may reduce the numbers of stream snipers and that kind of stuff and cheaters but you will never be able to stop them completely that's like the whole point so why don't you try and listen to the or try to do something nice to your actual player base the streamers are 0.1 percent of like this whole game the, your actual player base is 99.9 percent .9%, and this 99.9 percent .9 wants to play with other players you know what i mean just because you want to um you know help out streamers in the way i hope uh, like i try to be very polite you know when i speak certain things because um you know you gotta be more or less respect um yeah that's the word I was trying to say I'm trying to be respectful here you know what I mean instead of trying to appeal streamers try to appeal to the play actual player base you know what I mean okay let's move on to a little next topic I'm gonna save up here and we're gonna move on in a second hi everyone we are working hard to get all of the bugs fixed as soon as possible inventory refactoring was a huge step for opening up new possibilities but it has came with a lot of major bugs we wanted to get it out to you all as soon as possible so that we could make sure it was polished by the upcoming wipe. This last week has a very hard week for you all due to the constant downtime. Facts, brother, facts, man. And we're working on the way to make it all and make it up to you all. I don't even know what do you need to make. Like what what do you even can do to make it up to you all? You know what I mean? Like fucking another 10 shards? Well, I don't mind to get additional 10 shards, but I genuinely don't see how you can make up for player base to actually come back after this damage. We are working to make next season the best as possible, and we are super grateful to have you all with us still as we get through this rough patch. Please just give us a little bit more time to cook. Okay, so here's how to make spaghetti, and uh, you have to make sure that it's, um, you, what, what's, 
what's going on here? Wait a minute. You have to make sure that there's water in that thing, but why is it on the bottom? Also, here's the little sneak peek of what is to come. We have been working hard to make the new player and boarding experience as best as possible. I would like to introduce our new Hall of Knights Discord, Knights are experienced members of the community who will be teaching new players the basics of Dark and Darker. Starting in a few hours, we will be doing our first test runs to make sure it's ready for the upcoming wipe. If you would like to participate in the test, please join the Discord. The this will be limited to the first 100 players to join. Thank you all very much. Are you serious, man? What the frick did I just miss? How am I not in that Discord? Oh, because it's a fucking 3 am. And at this time, any normal human being is at sleep. Right? Especially when the server, you, when, especially when you can't play the game. What is there to do? Sit in a Discord and wait for a Discord to come out? Hmm. Sick. Nice. There is a Discord, apparently that is only available for some knights. Very beautiful. I would assume it's going to be some s form of some sort of Sherpa kind of thing from, you know, Escape from Tarkov. Probably same kind of style where you would go and help new newer players. I understand that, but um, I want to be there. I want to see what's up. Why is it limited to 100 players to join? Because I was asleep at 3 a.m., you know what I mean? Okay, we move on to next. Wait for announcement, please. You might like one of the changes. Okay, so here is the comment. So better luck next season is all we get, but I want the cosmetics you only just barely announce with less than nine days of opportunity. Wait for announcement, please. You might like one of the changes. We may, you may like. There is a little chance, there is a tiny possibility that you may like the changes. Sure. All right, we move on. You all have a test server for a reason. Put the new and white's entire BS on there first before breaking production. This is the basic development. Mr. Goop, you're damn right. Let's see the response. If you put it on the test server, the box found the last few days would not have been found. Not enough players utilize it currently. Mr. Grayson, why the test server is locked behind the paywall then? If there is not enough people who are playing the test server, Make it free and let people test it for free. Simple as that. There's going to be enough players to utilize if it's going to be free. Maybe. Like, I wouldn't be still playing if it, even if it's free, you know. But there's still going to be people who are going to be interested in the test server. Like, I, I got on test server. It was very buggy. It's, I tried to level up my character. It was it was impossible. So the only time I, may, I used the test server to make a video. That's all. I made a video and I never played test server because it was still buggy. But there's going to be enough and plenty of people with higher interest to test newer things, newer changes, newer patches, where you would be able to get the data and, you know, analytics from players who are actually interested in test server and the amount of people who even have the test server isn't that huge you know what i mean like there's always around 150 people let it make the test server for fucking free brother and let them play you know and maybe like you wouldn't make the rest of the player base struggle you know okay let's move on grayson i've been holding the line for you all night praise be a pregnant man Oh, Mr. Spook, pregnant man damage. <laughs> um, that was that was a clear troll, but um, that was just a clear troll. Okay, we move on. But still, I mean, listen, I would say thank you anyway. You know, even if I knew there was a troll, troll. We have doubled the team over the last few months. We are doing our best, but hiring has limitations, and rushing it has consequences. Yes, I understand. Every company has the limited amount of resources. Dark and Darker, even though Dark and Darker sold a decent amount of copies, the resources would still be limited to, well, limited. Let's say it that way, you know what I mean. We move on. I have an important question for you. I would like to play on the test server, but I have a big problem. I already paid the standard game for $35, and now if I want to get access to the test server, I have to buy another time game plus test server for $50. Why you don't put the test server skin? server plus skin buyable for the people that already have the game at $15. What a great suggestion, White Astra. What a actually fucking awesome suggestion. This is already possible. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, let's move on. Please wait for the next announcement. Okay, is it possible to make Frost Skeleton public instead of locking behind collector's quest line? Please wait for the next announcement. Okay. Could you please tell the team to give us an ATA because some of us are losing sleep, for, exam for example, 2 to 3 hours or 6 to 10 hours. If you're tired, please go to sleep now and start fresh. You will always play better that way. <laughs>
<laughs> I like that. I like this response though, even though it's kind of toxic. I like it. Uh, this is not the record. Okay, would it be better to invite the people most active in each of the class discussion channel instead of just hundred random people? This is not for recruiting players to help. This is for players to task being helped. We are working to get the servers back up as soon as possible. Even though it's the weekend, we still have stuff working as fast as possible to get everything working smooth again. Sorry for the delays. Please give us a little more time. That was at 6 a.m. today in the morning. Can I get all the same roles you have for no reason? What? Can I get this all the same roles you have for no reason? If you would like to, if you would like the roles, be sure to participate in community events. Ha! <laughs> line holder, bounty hunter, troll slayer. By the way, I didn't receive the line holder. Line line holder even though I participated. So that's this cap. I didn't receive this thing. I was I was waiting for it. It's basically this thing. This was um, available for people when um, at the um, after one of the playtests, you know what I mean? Just a quick update. The team is still working. We won't stop work until the game is back up. I don't think it will be much longer. I apologize. None of us ever predicted such a long downtime. Brother, fucking test server. Let it free. Make it free. Let people test stuff for you so that the major community the majority of the players wouldn't be upset in a general chat another message the early issues were present on the test server for weeks and reported by multiple people there are still a lot of bugs over there being reported are those reports looked at at all or is the test server ignored okay let's move on that is not true the bugs might look connected, but they're not from the same cause. What about the Warlock bug? The invincibility Warlock bug that made Warlock invincible. That was on the test server that was transferred to the original server. Is it not connected? Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. We will never know. As many people got to work right away, once we realized the situation required it many hours ago. Iron Maze may not be perfect, and we're still working out some issues, but lazy is not the right word here. We have learned from the situation, and we will continue to improve in the future. Rollbacks in the video games are like hitting an undo button. When a patch introduces a bug that causes a problem, the game can roll back to a previous version that worked fine. This helps avoid downtime or issues caused by the buggy patch, allowing players to continue enjoying the game without interruption. Think of it as a safety net for when things go wrong during the patch. It's not just hitting undo button. We would have done that much longer ago if that was that simple. Interesting. Okay, we need to get it tested. All right, so let's move on. Why do you backend quality update that actually has no effect on gameplay for players on a Friday in the middle of a vibe? What sort of compensation we'll be looking? We need to get it tested so we did not run into major issues during the next of the next vibe. During the start of the next vibe. So you're gonna jeopardize the current vibe so that the future wipe wouldn't struggle as much and then in the future wipe you will you know make everyone suffer so that the future wipe wouldn't be as stressful by the time the game is polished by the time the game is done player base will leave let's go next what is something you'd like removed from the game next season what is something you really want added oh yeah that's where it became fucking chaotic here and basically here is the one little last thing a lot of your day um a lot of your day one players would like ruins back what? Ruins will likely make a return once it's ready. Hopefully that won't be too long. Okay, some people want to remove creep. He says, why do you want to remove creep? What were your bad experiences with it? I personally like creep, so I don't care. I don't mind. I care and I don't mind. We have been active in not only Discord, but our DMs since one. And uh, yeah, that's actually true. Grayson answered my DMs. I like Grace. I see Grayson as a very hardworking person. We have patched almost every week for several months in a row. I don't understand the statement about us not being active. Most games are size patch once every few months. Many of us play the live server on a daily basis after getting off work sick. That's awesome. That's awesome. We can't give you an ATA for something we don't know. It is better for us to let you know when it's fixed rather than giving several false ATA. Understandable. Quest tracker would be an yeah, in-game quest tracker would be an amazing thing. Yes. Okay, they're actually working on the um, quest tracker. It is possibility in the future. Very nice. G give us insight as to what is happening. No need for ETA or anything. Just tell us what's up. We had several major bugs related to the new inventory system. We are working on making sure that all are fixed and checking as best as we can for any others. Unfortunately, this process takes my bit of time. We'll get back as soon as possible. Complete that. Sure. 24 Iron Hammer maintenance was not on my 24 bingo card. It wasn't ours either. We will try our best to not have an experience like this again. Okay. I played at least... Okay, do you also play the game throughout the week or do you only manage the game? I played the game for 20 hours. Add an anti-cheat. We definitely have an anti-cheat. 
We will continue adding skill expression to melee combat. AP has a big change next season. Tournaments will come when we can. We're working hard on making the new player experience much better. Actually, drastic change that we all need. New players is basically what this game is the future of the game. If you can't um, make the new player experience more satisfying, well, you, you here you got a problem, you know what I mean? So that's why working on this is actually very important. Are you guys still working? Yes. I had hoped it would never come to this, but you leave me no choice. It's time for another Hunger Games. Reply with a dark and darker related character. <laughs> sure. Well, and now they're just having some fun. This is a very important patch that laid the groundwork for many things to come. Inventory refactoring is a big deal for us. It might not seem that way because it has appeared to change much for the game yet. Understandable. Alright, so pretty much we can conclude right here. Iron Mace is working their ass off. They're trying really hard. They did mess up. Yes, they did mess up. They, and that's, that's I, would assume, I would assume, part of, you know, improving the game. But currently, currently, it would be at cost of the player base. This mistake that we have here is, is a pr pretty big damage, I'm gonna be honest. And in the past 24 hours, I wasn't able to play the game, nor was I able to record any content, nor was I able to produce any content. But it is what it is. The only thing we have left is to hope that either Dark and Darker get back on track and get their stuff together, make sure that we wouldn't get the same issue again, or wait for the company that will do better than Dark and Darker. Currently, Dark and Darker is the only game there is in this genre of Dark and Darker. The rest games that are seem similar to Dark and Darker are just poor copy-pasted copies, and basically the only thing that we have is to wait either for Dark and Darker to get back online or wait for some other games. Pretty much this is about it. Pretty much this is about it. I'm gonna call it here. That's all the response that Grayson gave to us. Kinda understand all the effort and all the difficulties they had to go through. And um, yeah. Anyway, it's Demo. And I hope you have a wonderful day.